Okay, everybody, we're going to um, continue our series on clearing out the middle. And remember now, this is, this is one of the tools we're, we're using to get our, our mixes wider and, uh, and, and create some depth. So this isn't the end all. It's one of the tools we're going to use later on when we start discussing how to make mixes uh, deeper and wider. I'm going to start by, um, by showing you uh, a, a typical scenario where you're putting some reverb on an instrument. In this case, we're going to use a piano. And the reverb takes up a lot of space in the middle. Check this out. Okay, now I'm using uh, I'm using my Bricasti, um, and I'm going to put a couple of plugins on it. We we kind of went over this the other day, um, so I'm going to let you listen while I add these. You see how the reverb cleared out in the middle. I made the I made the piano mono. Now I'm going to mute these again. Okay, now I'm going to show you. I'm going to show you how to um, get the same effect, but by using the same reverb, but two mono versions of that reverb. Okay, hold on one second. Let me set it up. Okay. I'm going to show you on a guitar part. What I've got is um, uh, we're going to take this guitar part. Here's my send. I'm exaggerating. We're sending it to, to our old buddy D-Verb. Can you hear that? Okay, now watch this. I'm going to show you just the reverb. Okay, now watch this. I duplicate this reverb down here. Now what I've done is I've changed the parameters slightly. Compare these two parameters. They're slightly different. Now I'm going to take this reverb, the, the original one, and pan it all the way left. I'm going to take this, this reverb and pan it all the way right. I'm sending the same information to both. Okay, now let's listen to that. You notice I've got reverb, but there's no middle. Let me take the original signal out. Yeah, cool, huh? As opposed to, see if I can do this quickly. As opposed to that. All right, send your cards and letters, that's good. Okay. I'm going to show you how to clear the middle out just with a pan knob. Okay, here we go. I've got, uh, I've got four guitars. Let's start with first guitar. Okay, take the effect off, sorry. Second guitar. If you notice, I've recorded it right here, but right now we're monitoring the input from these, these four guys. But I did it this way so I can A-B it real quick. I showed you what I was given. This is what I'm going to do to it. We're going to go through this one at a time. Okay, this guitar, this guy here, you know, so it's a little lower than the, than, than the other side. So I've got it panned a little left, and I've got this one panned a little right. 
It's not bad. Already we're, we're clearing stuff out. Now, this guitar, I'm gonna pan a little to the right. Okay, with it. Now this was this one was hard left and right, but we're not, we're tilting it to the right. Now let's balance it over here by panning this one. Okay, now let's A B it. Clear it out the middle. It just sounds deeper. You can hear everything. Guitar four and guitar main now have a spot of their own. They're not, everybody's not fighting for the middle. Let me show you the original. Here, here they just disappear. Now you can find them all. It's just panning, there's no effects on that. Okay guys, uh, damn Dave, you running, out, you running out of ideas? I thought you showed me this before. No, I'm not running out of ideas. If you watch next week's show, I'll prove it to you. I'm gonna show you four more ways next week on how to clear out the center and then and then we're going to start showing you how to assemble all of this into the next goal which is to make our mixes wider and better but i felt this one was important enough because i want you to use this in conjunction with other things i've been showing you so like the three things we we saw today don't be afraid to add this plug in either before or after to experiment this is our old buddy our wave center and um just a reminder Experiment, play with the sides, play with all the knobs, good knobs. Um, these presets will give you a little bit of, uh, you can learn how to, you know, how to manipulate this stuff to get different, to get different effects. All right, see you next week.